Hey guys and welcome back to Dragon Ball Online Generations. So, as you know, playing DBOG, it was hard the past week to do some changes to your character because the hairstylist didn't work, I think the clothing shop didn't work, I'm not aware of that, but I, I know that the um, hairstylist didn't work, so now you're able to do it, it got fixed, Sony updated um, the game and now you are able to change your hair. Of course, only in new servers. So, uh, see you guys next. So, alright, next try, new server, and as you can see, it is kinda fixed. I cannot scroll down. Why can I not scroll down? It's, oh, it's fixed. Alright, never mind, it's fixed. It just didn't load properly, but alright, you get, you can see it. Alright, now I'm done. I'm totally done with this game. Let's go to the clothing shop, or merchant. Alright, this is fixed. The clothing shop is fixed. Let's get to the accessories shop. Merchant. Where are the heather? Wait. Alright, it's also, it's also fixed. It's good, good, good. Weapon. Oh, alright. Everything fixed. Alright, this is my first hairstyle I used. Once I started this game the first time. I think I'm gonna switch back to this. Yep, look, looking nice, looking good. Alright, so, what else got changed? As you can see, the camera is changed. I mean, not changed. The camera has been fixed. The camera was like a, a little bit back and to the right. Like with my editing skills, it was like that. But now it's fixed, as you can see. And else, you can change your colors. Don't know if that was a bug. I had no, I had no problem with color changes, but anyway. Character creator and character redesign is fixed. Like that means this character, you can use this character, I think. Uh, I don't know how much Robux that cost. 25. Alright. So that was probably a glitch. It was probably bugged. So now you can redesign your character. And bio androids. Their race ability, their regeneration skill did not work. I say skill, but it's actually not a skill. It's just their race ability, their passive. They now work again. Bruh, I do it. Of course I will. You just have to ask me nicely. And rage attack. Bam! And die. Easy. So the bio androids race ability now works. It is fixed. The Bojack ability was also bugged. Alright, that's new to me, but it's also fixed. And now the Shenron character slot wish also works now. So you can collect all seven Dragon Balls on Earth and summon Shenron. And now the wish to create a new character, I mean, I mean, to create a new slot for free, is available again. There are two changes made, by the way. Scouters now show racial stats. Right, let's quickly equip a scouter right here. And let's see how it looks like. Oh, the racial stats are these. Alright, so that's the output. It doesn't show the stats. I mean, the, um... Uh, the skill points applied, it does, it now shows the output, so it's more realistic what your enemy has or what, what other players have in stats, you can see with the scouter. You wanna 1v1, but I can't, I'm sorry. But he still wanna fight? Actually, no. And also, now Kais. Kais can also set their skin color. As you know, they could not, they couldn't. By creating a new character, Kai's only had like one color. I forgot the I forgot the color actually. What is what is purple? What is pink? I don't know. I don't remember. But now you can change your Kai color. You can make it green. You can make it blue. I think it's actually blue. Anyway, you can change it. Tuffle color change options also fixed. Right, Tuffle's were also glitch, and now it's fixed. Or right, it's sold. It should be fixed. Okay. Um, and that's it for the changes made. A little informing video for you guys, and. That's basically it. I see you guys in the next video. Let me kill Vegeta, bro. One shot. Easy. Anyway, I see you guys later. Bye bye.